Hello Dragons, my name is Joe, I'm the founder of Thrift Plus, and I'm here today to pitch for £150,000 in exchange for 5% of my business. Now, I'd like you to imagine please that you're in your bedroom at home, you're standing in front of your wardrobe, it's time for a clear out. You grab a bin bag and you shove it full of clothes. It stays in your house for weeks, and then finally you dump it into a big metal donation bin in the corner of a supermarket car park. At Thrift Plus, we believe that your best secondhand clothes deserve better than dustbin bags and donation bins. We make it easy to donate your best secondhand clothes to your favorite charity. You go onto our website and you order a thrift box or a thrift bag. You fill it up with clothes and you return it back to us for free. And then we use automated photography and automated pricing to upload to our online store and automatically sync all of our inventory with eBay in under four minutes. As your items sell, we split the funds three ways. We charge a third as our commission, we send a third to your chosen charity, and then we give you a third back. We are now selling £20,000 of clothes each month, and we are building the place to shop secondhand clothes online. This opportunity has already been proven in the US, where ThreadUp is selling over $100 million of clothes each year. In March 2018, we raised £500,000 we are now seeking your support as part of a second £500,000 raise in order to build the ASOS of secondhand shopping. Thank you very much for listening. I'd like to hand out some thrift bags and I'd be delighted to answer any questions. A prudent pitch from Thrift Plus entrepreneur Joe Metcalf. Thanks, Joe. He wants to bag £150,000 in exchange for 5% of his company. Sarah Davies is first to quiz the second-hand clothing entrepreneur. Joe, so where did the idea come from? So I've spent the last five years on this. I saw after the recession that everyone was shopping online and I got obsessed with the charity retail sector. I just wanted to help them serve consumers better. Joe, I just want to sound a bit about the four minutes it takes per item to upload. How are you going to get that quicker. So there's incremental improvements we can make to that four minutes. We can start using computer vision to start putting in some of the data, asking our donors to add some of the data. Right, so what's your average time for the stock to come in before you actually sell it on your site? We sell 37% of it in the first month. Everything goes on our website and also we sync all of our inventory with eBay. And so 80% of our sales coming via the eBay platform. It sounded really great up until the point that you said eBay. I think it's really poor that you've had to use eBay instead of building your own Thrift Plus profile. So that's the next step. This is what this current fundraiser is to help us achieve. We're using eBay at the moment because it's helped us prove the model. Well, it hasn't. You've proved that eBay works. I've proved that people will donate us stuff, trust us to sell their stuff online and that they will pay a premium for someone to do it for them. And that there is something special about donation with reward. An unruffled response from Joe as he defends his business model to a dubious Peter Jones. Can he convince Sarah Davies his donate and shop proposition adds up to an investment? Talk me through the last financial year. 2019 to date, we've already sold £110,000 of clothes. Excellent. We spent £185,000 in building the business, and so a net loss of uh, £237,000. And what do you project that your sales will be at the point whereby you'll break even? From getting investment and then for the 12 months after that, we're expecting to do £3.3 3 So we're not far away. You feel like you're a long way away. We are absolutely ready to scale now. It just feels like a really big step up. Sarah Davies' probing reveals ambitious sales predictions from the entrepreneur. But what does fashion supremo Tuka Suleiman, Joe's other favoured investor, make of the charity meets commerce opportunity? What concerns me is we are in the world of fast fashion 
and deflation in clothing in the last 15 years. And I see that as an opportunity because we are going to convert fast fashion shoppers into second-hand shoppers. Yeah, but to actually make this work, the problem you've got is you've got to keep on raising money. Actually, I don't want to be a business that continually raises money. Well, you are. And you'll have to, because you're burning money, and that's my concern. But how exciting is it once we sell £100 million of clothes online and a third of that revenue figure is going to charity? So you think you're going to do hundreds of million pounds online? Absolutely. Do you know how difficult that's going to be? You're going to be selling 200,000 pieces a week or more. And the supply is there. But that's more than some of the biggest retailers in the country. I'm excited to be one of the biggest retailers in the country. I think you're in dreamland. Tuka Suleiman issues a wake-up call to the entrepreneur about the scale of his retail ambitions. And it appears Deborah Meaden has an issue with the business's branding. So when I put my items in that bag, that name's a great name. I like that name. You know, that makes me feel good. When I receive a bag that's got thrift written all over it, that name would worry me. It doesn't quite give you that. Yeah. That feeling. With all due respect, though, do you think you're his target customer Don't for the ever donation? ever all due respect me. One of my least favourite phrases was with all due respect. Because what it means is whatever you're going to say is going to completely ignore what I just said. Do, do you, are you in the mindset of a customer who would be likely to donate more so than a potential shopper? Yes, but I don't think that that feeling of when you bought something online changes. You want that box to turn up and you want to go... Can't wait to open it. So I properly wish you luck on this one. Thank you. But I guarantee you're actually going to lose quite a lot more money than you think you need. So I'm out. Deborah Meaden refuses to bag the investment opportunity. Can Peter Jones overcome his earlier concerns about the online platform and make a bid for the business? I think that the cost of what you're doing could outweigh and could extinguish any profit. And I worry about this eBay situation. I really do think it needs to stand on its own two feet. Those are my issues, but that last issue is my main one for saying that I'm not going to invest and I'm out. If I invested today, and said, I can bring a lot of value to you, but I don't want to be diluted ever again. Could you agree that? Uh, probably not, no. So basically, if I'm in for 150 grand for 5%, I could end up with 1% in 18 months' time. And you must have know that I don't get out of bed for 1%. I don't think you can reward me enough. For my money. I don't want to be diluted to 1%. I'm not going to make an offer. I'm out. Short shrift for thrift from Tuka Suleiman. And Joe's dreams of investment are unravelling. Will Tej Lalvani be willing to buck the trend and buy into the second-hand sales site? Well, look, I'll tell you... Where I am, Joe, I like the space and I like the charity model. And I think there's definitely disruption here. So I'm going to make you an offer. I believe the value I can add here could be significant in the consumer branding side of things. I'll offer you all of the money, but for 20% of the business. A change in fortune for the entrepreneur as Tej Lalvani makes an offer, but he wants four times the equity Joe wanted to give away. Is Sarah Davies in a position to better his bid? Joe, I like it. I like what you're doing, I like the meaning behind it. The way you've held up against the questioning from all the dragons here has been really impressive. I'll offer you all of the money, 
But in light of the fact that I do think we could be talking a while before we get any sort of money back, I would like a 10% stake in your business. I will just take a moment to have a think about it, if that's OK. Yeah, yeah, take your time, the wolf. Two offers for the full 150,000. But Tej Lalvani wants a considerable 20% stake. Sara Davies undercuts her rival dragon by 10%, but it's still double the 5% the entrepreneur wanted to give away. Great. So, Tej, would you be able to get down to the 10%? I'm definitely very interested in the business, and I think you're fantastic, but I'm definitely going to get diluted. So, that was my thinking. The numbers just don't work, so I'm afraid um, I'm not going to be able to accept that offer. That's fine. Um, I'm out. A refusal to compromise by Tej Lalvani leaves Joe one deal down. Sarah Davies' 10% equity offer remains on the table. Um, Sarah, if you'd be willing to um, agree at 7.5%, then I'd love to do the deal. I would love to do the deal, but I would also love to own a meaningful part of the company and that comes with a cost. I'd love to accept your offer. Well done. Awesome. Awesome stuff. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. Well done. Great. Really exciting. Well done. Thank, Thank you very much. Great. Well Cheers. done.